Hey everybody, I'm David and it's time for another mailbag. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know about a YouTube contest that I'm a part of in case you haven't seen my Facebook posts or my Twitter, Twitter tweets or anywhere else where you guys follow me. So basically, uh, YouTube picks four YouTube partners every month to help boost their subscriber count. And um, out of these four nominees, one of them gets selected by the YouTube community to make it uh, on the YouTube homepage for a day, which means that millions of people will see their videos around the world. Which also means that people will be exposed to the Ocarina that would not otherwise be exposed to the Ocarina, which is great for Oc Awareness Month, or us celebrating October Awareness, October Ocarina Awareness month and um, all you have to do is um, click the link that's in the description below or the link that's right here which is bit.ly slash vote docjazz4 and all you need is your YouTube or your Google account and you just click the check mark next to my name and you're done. You can vote every day until October 17th and every vote really counts because right now we're like neck and neck with uh, another YouTuber and it's like it's been really close since the very beginning of this contest so please vote every day and um, let's get ocarinas on the YouTube homepage. All right, so once again, we have three letters, and uh, I usually start with largest to smallest, but two are the same size, so I'm just gonna start with the one that has no return address for some reason. And the letter says, Dear Doc Jazz 4, my name is Isaac, I'm 13, and I'm from the small town of Rossford, Ohio. I'm writing you to ask you some questions. I was wondering, where can I buy a good, cheap English pendant? Also, do you think you could fit in some 12-hole ocarina lessons? Will you create a Doc Jazz app? You're my favorite ocarina player and I love your music. Also, could you autograph this paper back in the back and send it back at the set, set address? Thanks. From Isaac. Well, Isaac, thank you for writing your letter. And um, I don't know if I want to return back the same piece of paper that you sent me, but I could send you something with um, my signature on it. Unless you really want this back, then I will. So just let me know in the comments. Um, a place that you could buy good, I wouldn't say cheap, but um, af affordable English Pendant Ocarinas. There's a couple. Um, Sombered Ocarina has a wide selection of English Pendant Ocarinas, and I think the cheapest ones are $10 each. That's like, um, I think the, the $10 ones are $4, or have four holes. Like this one is um, one I, I play at Christmas time, and it has four holes, and this sounds really good. And they have a bunch of others ranging from $10 up to, um, I'm trying to think, the most expensive one is 60 and that's a base, which is somewhere around here. A couple other places is clays.com. Um, those are my friends in Seattle and they have a, a really cool selection of stoneware ocarinas, which I just love the, the texture of the clay itself. And um, they're like super durable, like you can put them in the dishwasher and they'd be fine. Um, so yeah, you can you can even dip them in water, which I wouldn't recommend that like, you go swimming with them or anything. But those are really good ocarinas. Um, yeah, it all really kind of depends on how much that you want to spend. But those two are probably um, at the top of my list. If I think of any more, I'll put them in the description. Do you think you could fit in some 12-hole ocarina lessons? Yeah, uh, I've been meaning to do more uh, ocarina tutorial videos. In fact, um, I'm probably going to be posting some to the Songbird Ocarina channel first because um, Mr. Songbird has asked me to make um, start making lessons for his channel again, which is uh, on youtube.com slash Songbird Ocarinas. And then um, there's gonna be lessons for English Pendant and for 12 hole and then just basic technique stuff. So make sure that you subscribe to the Songbird Ocarina channel. There'll also be a link in the description. Will I create a Doc Jazz app? Um, I've thought about it, but what would it include? Like. What kind of content would be in a Doc Jazz app? Let me know in the comments below, because that would be that would be interesting. It could just be my face, and like you click my face, and it takes you to my videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to know what a Doc Jazz app would include. So yeah, if I get some good answers, maybe I'll think about it. Thank you for your letter, Isaac. I will uh, do my best to um, send something back to you quickly with my signature on it and appreciate the letter, thank you. Next we have a letter from Emily from South Carolina, which uh, I just saw her at the Slumber broadcast this week and I told her I was gonna be opening her letter, so this is it, I finally got to it. She included some cool neon ink colored ocarinas, the Zelda transverse, um, English pendant, what's that one down there? Oh, nine hole soprano pendant, that's cool. 
they have texture to them. And she writes, Dear David, hi, my name is Emily. How is everything going for you? It's going pretty good. It's Friday. It's the weekend. It's always an exciting time. I watch the somber broadcast every week, and I have to tell you, it always makes my day. Thanks for hosting, and keep up the awesomeness. Is that really a word? I think so. I also enjoy watching your mailbag and review vids on YouTube. You are very talented, humble, and down-to-earth, and truly inspire me to be a better ocarinist. Thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you. I'm writing because I filled out the form on your website about wanting to start an ocarina guild here in the Carolinas. I've contacted two other ocarinas from North Carolina and two ocarina makers here in South Carolina, Mr. Hamlet and Mr. Hind. I figured the group could be called the Carolina Ocarina Guild. Could you give me some details slash tips slash pointers on how to start such a group and ways to keep interest and ideas flowing? One of the interested players says it would be better to meet on Skype because of gas prices and distance. Do you think this is okay? Also, do you happen to know any other ocarina players in the area? Mr. Hamlet was the only person to respond on ton when I started a topic for World Ocarina Day a few months back. I fear there are not so many ock heads out there as there are in Texas, or anywhere else for that matter. Also, would you mind checking on my YouTube channel, please? I'm trying to get as many views and subscribers as I can. I want to be a professional ocarina someday like you and Chris Gale. Maybe play with an orchestra. You can find my channel, youtube.com slash yumi34285. If you could find the time to maybe even give feedback, I'd appreciate it immensely. Sorry I can't send you some English candy or tiny ocarina is meant for mice. <laughs> if I ever see anything cool that is music related, I'll try to send it your way. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you hear, hope to hear from you soon. Keep living the dream. Cordially, Emily. Emily, thank you so much for writing your letter. And um, about ocarina guilds, it's, I don't know, it's, I think... It's something that I obviously really have been pushing and real, what I really want to happen. I, I would love to see people meeting um, in their local areas with a couple other ocarinas, which we have a couple ocarina groups in the U.S. now. We have one in um, Rhode Island. There is one in Los Angeles. There's one here in, uh, there's a couple here in Texas. Me and Chris each have our own. And then um, I think there's still one that's happening in Tennessee. Um, and I know there's one in Utah. So there, there's a couple of them out there. And it's it's probably harder. It's lit, it's turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. I've been writing other people who have ocarina groups. Like there's one in Hungary and there's one in um, in China, or yeah, there's one in China that I'm in contact with on Facebook. And um, they gave me some tips of how they got their group started. And I'm I'm putting all these tips together. Uh, Chris Gales included some stuff too of how to get these groups meeting on a regular basis and how to keep up interest and the biggest thing that i've found is the easiest way to get people interested is to just play like go places where people are exposed to the ocarina especially musical people because most musical people are open to it it seems like um more than any other group because they're willing to try new things what i would do is go places like go to um an open mic night and just play a couple songs there i know it's a little bit nerve-wracking um, but the, it's a lot easier once you're on stage. Like, it's not, it's not as difficult as some people think it's going to be. Because a lot of people are afraid of criticism. I understand that. I know what stage fright is. Um, I've, I went to school for music, and I had to perform in front of people every single week. And it was nerve-wracking, but eventually you get over it. It gets a little bit easier. It never goes completely away, but it does get easier. So play in front of people is one. Um, which gets people asking questions, then you can just uh, invite them to try your ocarinas. That's two. Um, kind of show them how easy the instrument is to play. And um, and then ask your friends, like, if they want to get together um, just to jam. If you have any music friends, that's probably the easiest way to do it. But if not, just take your ocarina wherever you go, get people interested in it, answer people's questions. And... Um, yeah, that's that's more than enough to get you started. You're probably on the Octalk forum already. Uh, if not, I would try to use that as a resource. I'm trying to send more people there to get connected. And um, it's octalk.net slash forum. Post um, a, a page for the Carolinas and um, just see what comes up. Just keep trying. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Um, I, I still kind of struggle with getting my group together, and I think Chris does sometimes too. Uh, but the people who want to play and make music, they'll you'll you'll find them and they'll find you. Congrats on deciding that you want to be a professional ocarinist. Just keep on practicing, keep on playing, and uh, I'll definitely check out your videos. Uh, everybody else should check out her YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description, and um, go subscribe to her. Thanks so much, Emily.
Our final letter comes from Kendall out of New Lenox, Illinois. I think I used to say Illinois, but I've learned that there is no S at the end. And Kendall writes on this very interesting stationery with flowers and very bright blue. I like blue. Hi, David. First off, sorry for my terrible handwriting. It's not that bad. I can read it. I would like to say that you are amazing at Ocarina. And I was honored to have you play my request of the Dark Cloud theme. Right now, I have Baby Dragon Tooth, an STL Destiny Ocarina, and their necklace one. The STL Ocarinas are nothing compared to the Baby Dragon Tooth, though I really wanted to get the normal Dragon Tooth for my birthday a few weeks ago. But sadly, I wasn't able to. That brings me to the question. Would you consider going to Ace in 2013? I would love to see you and Songbird there, and I would finally have a chance to buy the Dragon Tooth I've been wanting forever. It would mean a ton to me and my friends. I'll include a flyer for the con in this letter. Keep playing and keep on being awesome. Kendall. And he drew me some special animals. Pikachu, Kibora, Gibora, and Totoro. Woot! And here is the flyer he promised for Anime Central. It is on May 17th or 19th. Good to know. Well, Kendall, thank you so much for writing and for the heads up about Anime Central and the drawings. And, um, yeah, I would definitely, uh, I'll definitely put it on the cons that we're thinking about going to next year. There's plenty enough, there's plenty of time, um, now that you've, no, now, now that I know about it. So thank you for the heads up. Uh, I'll definitely let Songbird know and we'll try to squeeze it into the plans. And that's cool to know that you uh, you got a little, nice little collection of ocarinas there, including the baby dragon tooth. So hopefully you'll get your hands on a big dragon tooth in the very near future. Thanks, Kendall. Thank you to everybody again for your letters this week. Please keep sending me stuff. The address is in the description below. And also, please keep voting for me in this contest. Share it with your friends. If you go to my Facebook page, um, I'm posting a new picture every day um, that has to do with the election for or the election for this YouTube thing. And some of them are they're all pretty funny. I, I have a couple of ideas for other ones that I'm working on right now. So um, you can see the two that I have up right now, and then there should be at least four more um, till the end of this voting process. So thanks again. You guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you guys next week.